Hello everyone, Beradek Torzier again and in this video we're gonna review the Creel T Falcon 2 laser, a laser that can engrave, cut hardwood and do a lot more so stay tuned until the end of the video. Our video for today will begin with unboxing the first box which is the laser itself with its frame. Almost everything is already assembled, we have just to block some cables and we are done which you will see in a minute. Here you have the instructions and two QR code to scan and to watch the videos and start the installation. Now just to be clear here we are talking about 40 watt laser tube. So it's really powerful, it contains several lasers that are over each other and will be controlled to be downgraded to 20 watt to do precise work. Here we have the 240 watt 10 amps AC adapter which is really huge it's bigger than my big hands and it will power the stepper motors the laser itself and of course the air assistance here we have some uh, protection goggles and we have the cable for the AC adapter moving on to the next package which is the legs extensions that we will use whenever we use the rotary module and we will use of course whenever we engrave bigger objects and here we have the second package which contain also an extensions for the legs and here we have the legs themselves and that's really good to have a different high adjustment and to be able to use the machine on different height and that would be awesome whenever you want to adjust the height of your machine. Here we have the air assistance pump. I like how this was designed. I like the design of it and the color of course is my favorite. Gray is always my favorite color. Anyway, back to the point. Here we have all the components laying down on the table and we will start with installing the legs it's just a matter of tightening down all these four legs you have three positions in, in case just if you have a small area to work with which is really a very nice touch the next step will be installing the air assistant itself it's just controlling on and off with a single cable and the same cable will power the air assistant here you can turn it up and down to control the power how much air pressure you want to go from the nozzles of the laser and it's really cool the coolest thing about this laser that whenever you start engraving the air assistant will start running and when you turn it off finish your work this will be off automatically without needing to do this by hand moving on to the laser itself as you see here, it's a very cool design. Again, solid anoxide aluminum. On the side, we can see the cooling fan, which will push air to the other side. Here we see all the indicated lights that are on the laser. We will go through each one and what does it mean later on. Here we have some movement on the Z-axis. I just tightened down the uh, washer and we have everything rock solid by inserting the laser down and tightening up the screws we have it in its place and we can start connecting the air pump tube with plugging the air pump tube inside the laser we can plug also the laser cable on the sides the left side of the whole uh, frame and we can move it to the side and make sure that everything is square and here we have screw to tighten down also to have the belt inside the laser also tighten for the x-axis on the back of the machine we repeat the exact same thing to tighten down the belt for the y-axis now we can block the power cable to the side of the machine and start running our machine using those cool keys that came with the machine I just turn it to the right side and we have the machine on we can click on home and it will start homing and that's also nice feature to have a control from the machine itself separating from the computer we have three lights here for the air and the fire and the lens whenever the air is not turning on will be red 
and the fire will be red if there is any fire there and the lens if needs any cleaning here we have also two indicated lights one for precise and one for normal with precise you will just have 20 watt power and with normal you will have the full 40 watt power beside the power cable we have an insert for type c we can control the machine with our computer directly or with the sd card and we have also stop button here we have three indicated lights for air assistance whenever it's orange this means there is not enough air and if it's red this means that there is no air at all now the last thing that we need to lay down under the machine it's our cutting area which is the honeycomb that you see here it's a very cool thing to have it will help to have cleaner cuts and everything that you will cut from small parts will just go through these holes and be on this small sheet of metal after we set and install everything here we have the professional locking of the laser itself and we can plug on our type c cable and i will plug it in my laptop and start installing the software of the laser or the profile and then i can use this aluminum height adjustment ruler that came with the laser i just lay it down on the material and then i can lay my laser down over it and then I have the right height of the laser for cutting or engraving whatever thickness that I have. Here I have 1.5 millimeter plywood and I'm doing quick test of cutting the Parada Guitars logo to see how clean the cut is and how fast this machine could be. And here you can see those all letters that were a very precise cut. Here I'm just trying to engrave to see if this laser can engrave 2 mm thickness of plywood and it went through like it was nothing. This was not cut, this was engraved so the whole wood doesn't exist anymore of this small engraving area. Now the second test cut was this eagle that I imported it from the SD card that came with the machine. It's an original file that came on the SD card of the machine, I just imported it to my laptop and here you can see the result. It's very fine cut. Both sides are clean. Here you can see the back side. I, sometimes I get this back side more dirty in other lasers but here we have a very clean cut from both sides. Here I'm using a material test generator from my program to see how fast we can cut and engrave and I'm using the minimum with 600 millimeter per minute and the maximum 2000 to see if I can engrave with 2000 and here you can see the result and again it's awesome I just had to push those squares with my pencil and everything went off I can show you here that with 100% power I can engrave with 1.6 millimeter plywood on 1800 millimeter per second and with only 10% power I can engrave 2000 millimeter per second and that's really awesome this is the most powerful dude laser that I have ever had my hands on now doing the 7.5 millimeter cut with one path at the speed of 150 millimeter per second this is a hard maple and every person that is familiar with wood this is not a pine or something with a soft wood this is really hard wood and i was able to do it with 27 seconds only and that's really impressive and here you can notice how clean the cut is and i can get it even cleaner with two basses here we have the rotary kit that contain the rotary module that we will connect to the machine and will start engraving some cylinder shapes and will help us to do some cool stuff on mugs or anything that has cylinder or circular shapes this whole thing made with anoxide aluminum and it has a very nice design as you can see here the chunk is all massive aluminum 
but I have one thing that I prefer if this was gray also to match the color of the machine. Now I will attach this tumbler to the router tool and I will start engraving random name on it. But to be able to do that, we need to use the extensions like to get the right height of the machine over the rotary module. So we will start with tightening down and putting the legs with their extensions and we have the right height and we can put the rotor tool underneath the laser and we need to make sure that the rotor tool is parallel to our x-ax. Here we are plugging the cable behind the rotor tool and here we have the cable of the y-ax. Just remove the cable from the y-ax, plug it in the rotor tool and you're good to go. Here we have a measurement of the diameter of the whole uh, tumbler that we will engrave. You can give this information inside the program and click OK and start engraving. I used only 10% uh, power and I went slow because I didn't want to ruin this uh, nice tumbler. I just wanted to do a clean engraving and see how the result will come out. To be honest, while I was engraving this name, I thought why it's not clear. I thought it doesn't have sharp edges, but it was just a smoke from the engraving itself. So I remove it, clean it a little bit with, just with my hands and I have this sharp name very clear here you can see closer look on it and it's really amazing and for the last box in this video it's the enclosure that you should seriously take it in consideration for your health for your lungs it's very important to keep the fumes that you are generating while engraving keep away from you and get everything filtered and until this point you reach the end of this video thank you all for watching and please don't forget to subscribe like if you want to if it's like just dislike it and please let me know what do you think about this laser i will let also the link down below in the description box you can click on the link and order your laser today and let me know what you gonna do with this laser i will use it with making some templates on my handcrafted guitar builds that you can go and watch on the channel now you can check my instagram twitter facebook i will catch you the next time and until then peace